Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be cooking. I know. Baking has improved so much since my last video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my mom's famous tea cakes. So if you guys don't know what a tea cake is, it's kind of like a cookie but it has kind of like the consistency of a cake really really good they're really easy to make and i'm gonna show you guys how i make it i'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 and that's the first thing that you gotta do okay so i've got my bowl situation here and i've got all my ingredients over here um it's literally five ingredients so it's super easy and the first thing that you want to do is take your eggs there's two eggs. Okay, so before you put in all the other ingredients, you need to whisk up the eggs. Just mix them up so that when you add your other ingredients, the eggs are already gonna be mixed together. Now, we just add all the other ingredients. So, two cups of flour, just, um, regular self-rising flour this is our flour definitely self-rising flour one two three fourths of a cup of sugar one small one so that i can measure out three fourths exactly three fourths cup of sugar easy peasy three fourths cup of oil so i just have this smart balance Full blend. And now the last ingredient is vanilla. So I have my vanilla and we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. That's it on the vanilla. Super, super simple. It's taken me like literally five minutes to throw this batter together. So I'm just going to use that whisk and I'm going to mix everything together. To show you guys what it looks like while I'm mixing, it's got this really nice yellow color to it. And you just want to make sure that your flour is incorporated into the wet mix. My batter finished and stirred. Um, I finished off with a wooden spoon because it kept getting stuck to my whisk. But yeah, this is what your batter should look like. So on the instructions, it says to use parchment paper on a cookie sheet, but I didn't have any parchment paper, so I just sprayed this cookie sheet with pan. And the way that you scoop it on there, you literally just take a spoonful and just drop it on. That actually might have been too big. Let me do the next one smaller. See, just a spoonful of cookie about to go into the oven second batch so in all i got 20 cookies out of this recipe I'm gonna set the oven on a timer for 10 minutes and we're just gonna let them go so this is the finished result they are a little bit lumpy they usually don't look like that but like i said these are mom's tea cakes and um yeah it's gonna take me a while to perfect them but i think it's just because you're supposed to add the flour last so yes, um, I'll edit that in to add the flour last. Really proud of the color that's on these because this looks delicious. So let's try them after yeah, they Like cool. I said, this made 20 cookies. After I took them off the pan, they really don't look that lumpy. They actually look really good and I'm really excited to eat them. Please eat them while they're hot. Excuse the Christmas tree. Mmm. They might be a little lumpy, but they taste amazing. This is so good. Sorry, my camera was a little hazy, wasn't it? But honestly, the best thing about these is that they're soft in the middle and then still crunchy on the outside. They are delicious. So, I hope that you all liked watching me bake tea cakes. These are my mom's world famous, world famous, because everyone that has tried these have absolutely loved them. 10 out of 10 recommend this recipe. It's so good. It's very easy. It took me like 20 minutes to make all this. So if you're just looking for a quick cookie, this is honestly the best. So yeah, I hope you guys liked watching me bake and be sure and subscribe. And I'm gonna do more baking videos in the future because I have gotten a lot better at it as opposed to my last 
baking disaster video. I'll link it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.